Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Good afternoon, South Africa. Molweni Nonke, and welcome to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. My name is Danilo Acquisto. This is another exciting edition of SA's premier design and decor reality competition brought to you by Private Property. Three design duos are decorating three cluster homes in the Stone Quarter development at the Eye of Africa State in Joburg. And while they compete for rewards and ultimately the judge's choice, the real winner here could be you. At the end of the competition, one lucky viewer will win their choice of the three transformed homes. Our design viewers are now busy with their third challenge, so let's get you up to speed. Last time on Winner Home, the design viewers were metaphorically thrown into hot water. This week's challenge is a double challenge. Both your master bathroom and your guest bathroom need to be completed by deadline. Despite the added pressure of completing two bathrooms, the design viewers had some fun learning about exciting bathroom products. But the business of bathrooms can be very expensive, as discovered by Team House and Leisure. I was excited until we were told that we need to get three more boxes of towels. Team VC also faced the dilemma of having too few tiles for their shower. But Team Habitat were pretty happy with their design and their budget management. Budget is tight, like my panty line. And if it gets any tighter, it's about to snap! But we <laughs> just on the budget. With double the drama and a deadline to meet, which design duo will find sanctuary and win with their bathrooms? Doing two spaces in the time normally allocated for one room is a very big challenge. Do you think our design duos will get done in time and within budget? Let us know your thoughts with the hashtag WinAHome. Now the final day saw a flurry of activity and some razzle dazzle on site. It's a few hours away from the countdown and I'm once again unwrapping little diamond. Yeah, boy. Building the chandelier. <laughs> a beer just couldn't help himself. I know our mentor said no more chandeliers, but it's like, Amanda, what's a room without some lighting that sparkles? I couldn't help myself. And guys, this is not the only one. Mm -hmm. A beer got us another one as well. Yes! yes! But that was a real bargain. I mean, that is handmade, handcrafted with glass and sets. And it's like, what, 75 years old? Do you understand? Handmade in Italy. So I'm not sorry. We need lights in this bathroom. I hope you're going to be explaining this to Amanda, because I'm not going to be taking her calls. Honey, I won't have to take her calls. I'm going to light it and send her a picture. Or she should be here, and she'll see it. Dazzling. <laughs> So the Give It guys are installing uh, our system. We have the small business flush and the big business flush. In our home, yeah. Team VC also chose the Give It shower channel, which ensures no concealed buildup of dirt and bacteria, and the installation of both was overseen by the product manager himself. It's not often that I host conversations in a bathroom, but this time it seemed apt. Leonard from Gibber is here to install the first piece of sanitary wear, and this time it's a toilet. So tell us a bit more about what their ideas were when they came to you. So initially they came to us saying that they don't have very big bathrooms, so the first thing we went to is going concealed with the toilet, you know, having the tank inside the wall, uh, having a short pan, and then a nice little vanity inside the bathroom to just complete everything. I didn't think I could learn much more about installing a toilet. They seem such obvious pieces of sanitary waste. So let's give some tips to our viewers around what to do when installing a toilet. Okay, when installing a concealed system, it is very important to remember your finished floor height. This can seriously affect your installation at the end of the day. Should your system be installed too high, your toilet pan will end up being too high. If it is too low, the toilet pan will then be too, too low to the floor. And in terms of maintenance of toilets like these internal ones, I'd always imagine that they're quite hard to get to, um, but you guys have made that simpler. Well, maintenance on the, specifically the toilet itself is very little. The contestants were very clever in going with the choice of our room-free toilet. You know, there's absolutely no room to, to worry about any bacteria or any issues underlying. Oh, I see, because all the water comes from the back here. All the water flushes out here and then runs over the room oh, itself. I see. So that is a nice part. 
Your other maintenance section would be on the cistern itself. And again, with Gibbet, we try and keep things simple. And we've gone for a toolless operation where you can go in and service your entire unit. Well, it seems like a really simple system. So next time you thought that you were going to install a toilet and it was easy, these are some tips to consider. What still has to be installed is our scissor stone on the window frame. So they're going to clad it. It will take a bit of time because it's actually quite a lot. But we're excited to see that happen and our vanities are still on the way. The fittings, the bath and the toilets, everything is here. All they have to do is just fit them onto where they have to be. But I, like, I trust that it will be fine. Caesar Stone is on point. Mm, mm, mm. Point. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> they hit the, they put the R in bull's eye. Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> that colour is to die for. Beautiful. Oh, wow. It's our new Moorland fog that you've chosen. Absolutely. Absolutely. We had to go with the new collection. Absolutely. Because yes. more is more with Moorland fog. It's beautiful. Mm. We do. We've got a really big selection of unique colours, so yes. it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> and floor to ceiling, fully cladded. Yes. It's a bold decision. We couldn't resist. Yeah, I know. Once we saw the stone, we were, we need that whole shower to be an experience. Like, you walk in, and it's a Moulin Fox Caesar stone experience. Oh, yes. I'm ready to shower. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me about this vanity. Oh, I love babe. it. Sure, I am obsessed with it. Yeah. I mean, it just looks like it's floating, and it just is amazing. And Caesar stone is so strong and durable, and yet it looks like it's so light. So light. I mean, we couldn't pick up one piece. I was scared <laughs> for them to put the basin on the Caesar stone, but it was strong. <laughs> it was, yes, now where are the tats? <laughs> this is is really what's going to add value to your property. Sure, I'm glad to even hear you say that because with the buildings that we're renovating, that at the end of the day is what we want to achieve. Yeah. Added value property. I can't wait to hear what the judges have to say. <laughs> now they can win. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for this beautiful stone. The Caesar Stone Research and Development team works really hard at creating unique colours and they've chosen really nice colours from our new range. They've utilised them beautifully. Megan from Sea Stone is here to visit our bathroom and see how everything is going. Wow, guys, I love what you've done here. It's amazing. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much, Megan. Oh, the Mont Blanc, it looks incredible. I told you to think outside of the box, and you've actually made a box. Literally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we made a multifunctional box. So, what are you going to be putting in here then? So basically what we did with this box is that it's going to serve as like a shielding for the bathroom without like having like an actual wall. We're going to plant in it and then the plants are going to serve as like a screen for a bit of privacy when, when you're in the bathroom. And then this corner over here, it's going to be, we're going to have like a, like a sitting, sit, yeah, sitting cushion so that like maybe when you're running out, you can just sit down, pull up your shoe and then you're on the go. So you've got almost like a shield between the two parts of the room. And with the plants, it's going to be like a tropical paradise. Yes. Yes. And that your bathroom is a sanctuary, so that's such a great touch. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you've got the Mont Blanc in full scale in the shower. I love it. And with the glass, you really pick up the veins and all the colour coming through. Literally, if you're going to be doing a bathroom, this is the product you want because it loves wet spaces, because it's non-porous, right? I've never seen Mont Blanc being used like this. Completely out of the box. And this is what's really going to add value to your home at the end of the day. It's awesome, guys. Using Caesar Stone in your bathroom and kitchen is going to increase the value of your home tremendously because of its high quality and lifetime warranty. So the contestants have really understood that fact and put it in the right places in that bathroom. Oh, I'm struggling, hey? I, I, it's so dirty. It's so, so dirty. Don't stress. These bathrooms are so dusty. I think we're going to need to clean them three times, eh? Yeah, I don't think we have time for three times. No, don't stress. Two tries, we can make it. My grand taught me how to clean. But I'm also stressed about that season stone, eh? I think they're going to come and ready fixed. So it's not going to take time. So we're going to go done. Okay, I hope so. Yep. Mm. It, looks, it looks like I'm cleaning your face. <laughs> Yes, has it? Wow, I love the taps. Sure, and I'm glad we got two. One for you, baby, and one for Buzz. Yes. Right, so what's interesting about these taps, Brad, um, they've got the integrated aerator, which adds to the, the, the design aspect. So these have got the, the salt move function, which allows for smoother, more comfortable operation. Uh, it's also got the flow-restricted aerator, which is 
good for the people that want to save water and not feel guilty about having the 100% comfort in using the end fittings. Awesome, I'm obsessed with our grower designer taps. I hope the judges feel the same. No, I'm sure they will. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Our grower shower has been installed and we're quite excited about it. It's looking beautiful. It's complementing our mixers. Everything is looking amazing. Amazing, yes. And the mixer has got buttons. Like, have you seen a shower? Like, this, that shower literally has buttons. Have you been in a shower that has buttons like before? Dining. Hello. <laughs> sure. Our zebra crossing is it's not, not yet a crossing. <laughs> the only thing that is crossing is the plumber carrying the toilet. And it's over the tiler. So it's, it's still a war zone. They're trying to finish up, but they're nearly there. Like literally there's like a little square that's yeah. left. That's like, you know, Tetris bars. Building those blocks. Yeah. It's so exciting seeing those bathrooms speed towards completion. But what's even more exciting is that you could be a winner in our grand prize competition. Your choice of one of the three decorated homes, which boasts luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone, as well as premier home appliances by Grundig. The total prize value is over 3 million rand. How amazing is that? To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. You'll also automatically be entered into the bi-weekly giveaway and be in the running to win that amazing prize of your very own home. Now the show must go on. After the break, Team House and Leisure reveal their finished bathrooms. In proud partnership with Winner Home, the best stone is Caesar Stone. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon, designed for life. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Now, in the latest challenge, the design duos have been tasked with completing not one, but two bathrooms. Time is of the essence as they have to do double the work and some of the design duos are feeling a little flushed with that deadline fast approaching. Wow, looking good. Really good. good, just hope they finish in time. Hello, Team Habitat! Hi. Hi. You guys, this is the big 30 minute call. Are you guys going to be done? What are you staring at? Well, we're staring at them finishing up our tiling uh -huh. so that we can install these fabulous grower accessories. accessories. Yeah. All right, and that's going to be done in time, eh? 30 minutes, the judges are going to be here. Mm. Please tell them to run a little late. <laughs> just, just like five minutes late. But, yeah, go get him, team. Go get him. 30 minutes to go. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, right. cool. Bang. My nerves. My nerves. <laughs> they can't take no more. It's 30 minutes prior to cut-off time and we're busy running back and forth, dropping off the last stuff, doing last-minute touch-ups, and then Daniel is coming to the van and he's a bit worried if we're gonna finish on time. But then, like, we are assuring him that we are gonna be done because everything that needs to be in the house is already in. And yeah, and drilled in, like, literally everything. Everything is in. It's just cleaning up, few touch-ups. <laughs> Gentlemen, 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 30 minutes to go and I expected some polishing, not fetching things still. Don't stress, we're almost done. We just had to get one last plant and a bag of soil and then we should be ready for chill time. So you'll be done in 30 minutes, eh? We should, yes. Cool, go, 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 get it done, get it done. Run, Sebo, run. Oh, wow, yeah, well, 30 minutes to go, things look good in here, but Team BC are nowhere to be seen. Here you guys are. You should be next door. 30 minutes to go, guys. 30 minutes. Yes, we are actually just taking or packing everything here. And yeah. then we're just waiting for them to clean in there. Okay. And we'll just chuck everything in as soon as they're done. Yeah. So all's OK? Yeah. Well, so, sort of, yes. All is looking good. Uh, our only hope is that uh, we need to finish. You know when we style the bathroom? Accessories is everything. So okay. what's the bathroom without a toothbrush, a towel, <laughs> and sort of those things? Agreed. Well, the judges are on their way. 30 minutes. Go, Team VC! Thanks, buddy. Go. <laughs> 
That's Danilo. It's gonna explode soon. <laughs> 30 minutes left, guys. <laughs> <laughs> As the time ticks away, it's all hands on deck to finish installation of the Giberit mirror cabinets and other details to give the bathrooms a completed look. So the third room challenge was the most grueling yet for our design contestants, but the rules are the rules and I have to play the villain. Contestants, tools down, your time is up. It's so difficult we don't have any words. <laughs> it's been very, very stressful. I've realized with the bathroom, you can save money anywhere, but in a bathroom, you can't compromise. Mm -mm. You're gonna spend a lot of money whether you like it or not. And they're the most important because you could have a mediocre house, yeah. but if you walk into a beautiful bathroom, you'd want to stay there. As Le Serro correctly stated, a beautiful bathroom is incredibly inviting. And this week's bi-weekly competition prize is sure to add luxury to your bathroom. Up for grabs is a Grower's Smart Control shower system worth over 11,000 Rand. To enter for this amazing prize and the grand prize of the 3 million Rand home, simply go to privateproperty.co.za and click on that Winner Home logo. It's that easy and your one entry not only lets you stand in line for the grand prize, but also for the amazing grower shower. In fact, it's the very same shower that Seppo and Vanelle have installed in their ensuite. We're quite excited about it. It's looking beautiful. It's complementing our mixers. Everything is looking amazing. Thank you so much, Victor. It is looking beautiful. It's only a pleasure. I must say I was very excited to hear that you had gone with the grower smart control. Uh, the name speaks for itself. It puts you in 100% control, adjusting from different spray patterns, allowing you to control the flow of water as well as the temperature. It's got a nice reachable tray, as well as some safety features. They've really concentrated on making it safe for the little ones, putting a good cool touch in the unit, so no matter what temperature comes through here, it'll always remain room temperature and prevent you from scalding. It's also got a 38 degree safety lock, which is easy overridable with the push of a button. And it all comes together with a 360 mil lozenge shaped shower head, which covers the entire body. Is it true that it's got a wide variety of spray patterns? Yes, it is. Uh, you can pick your ideal spray function, a spray pattern, whether you want stimulating or soothing, revitalizing or relaxing. That is amazing. Then the owner of the house can get to shower in style. Yes. <laughs> and I like how it complements our freestanding bath mixer. Absolutely. Uh, it's a creative interaction between the elegant grow fittings and uh, the Libra bath. It's the preferred choice going for a modern architectural spaces. I really hope the judges like it because we're in love with it. Yes. Well, now that we've seen the high-tech shower, the other wonderful elements that form part of Team House and Leisure's bathroom can now be revealed. In a bold move, Team House and Leisure created an ensuite master bathroom by removing a wall and ensured their guest bathroom continued in the style of the guest bedroom. We're done with both our bathrooms and we're quite happy about like how everything has turned out. So yeah, we're quite positive that all will go well. But I was aware about how we actually neglected the other bathroom. We just allowed things to happen without really paying attention to the detail. Today, we are in the natural habitat of two-time challenge winners, Team House and Leisure. I'm trying to keep my voice down as not to disturb them in their natural environment. Team House and Leisure, how are you today? We're good, thanks, and you're doing well. You're good. You look like you should be doing this with that hat and those glasses on. Legends, this place is amazing. You broke down walls, you've had added Caesar stone to your different features. Well done, an incredible master bathroom. So Danilo, what we tried to do here is actually was to make space for the people going to be staying here by actually breaking the wall. And then with the plants, we're actually trying to link it to the outside by actually having plants that grow inside the space. And then another thing was to also allow for pri a bit of privacy without having like a solid structure closing the two spaces together. Design on point, you two, but what about those practicalities? If a couple wins this home, 
One person might be napping, the other might need to use the loo. Is that very practical? I think it is practical and in regards to if it's a couple that's been like together for a while, then they kind of know each other's ins and outs and like this. So <laughs> I think it is practical. I'll be honest, I'm not completely convinced, but I do like the way the whole space has come together regardless. And remember, these judges are going to come into this room and they've already awarded you two challenge wins. They're going to have to really need a lot of convincing to give you that third. What's going to convince them? Because of the fact that we were a bit brave and took down the wall that divided the bathroom and the main bedroom would count as an advantage. And also the lights, like it's about 20 lights that imitate bubbles and it's, all, it's trying to get the idea of when you take a bath and then you've got this foam bath and the bubbles are just going up. And also I think the mirror, unfortunately on installation it went a bit skewed but I think the design, they will appreciate the design. Although broken mirrors are usually a sign of bad luck, let's hope that that omen does not come to your room. Let's move our attention quickly to that guest bathroom. Tell us about the ideas there. So with the guest bathroom, we actually tried to pick the colors from the guest bedroom and introduce them into the same space. And also with the art, we also made it more arty than just a plain bathroom. It was more of a continuation from the guest bedroom to the guest bathroom. Well, seeing as we're in the jungle, you're going to need to be identified very clearly. So because this is a hard challenge, the team from Grower have decided to reward you guys with a little gift. Okay, oh, that's exciting. <laughs> this, my friend, should add a little pop of colour to your already beautiful bathrooms. Oh, thank you. Take them out. Danila gives us these bathrooms from Growway and we're quite excited. We like we're loving them so much. They are so luxurious. Yes, they, feel they feel so amazing. Great. Yes. And you try them on instantly. You just like put in way to be in them. Ta-da! As we continue to reveal the completed bathrooms, don't forget that you can also share your thoughts by commenting on our social media platforms and remember to use that all-important hashtag, WinAHome. After the break, Team VC and Team Habitat reveal their bathrooms. Grundig, for a good reason. This is Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Our design duos have completed both of their bathrooms in their respective cluster homes, and it's time to reveal Team VC's spaces. For a French style of high contrast, Team VC did a modern take on a palette of black, white, and gray in their master bathroom to deliver a very high-end look and feel. Two bathrooms in one challenge was definitely a challenge. Firstly, because a bathroom has so many elements and there's always something more you can do to it to add to it but two bathrooms just makes it it just makes it a lot see i'm sensing a michael jackson song here doesn't matter if you're black or white it looks really good well done thank, thank you, you thank, thank you, you, thank you. cool so what are your highlights in these two spaces the highlights in our bathroom are definitely the caesar stone accents so we have a vanilla noir dado rail Ooh. and we have it in our shelves as well so we love that so if you look at this, the grains that are in the vanilla no scissor stone, we, we color meshed it with the Plascon paint to use it to the ceiling and also apply it on the walls. So we wanted to bring Dubai into South Africa, like create all that hotel feel in your own space at home. And that guest bathroom was also part of the challenge. And nice ideas in there too. So in the guest bathroom, again, we wanted to echo what's happening in the guest bedroom. So we brought in a very feminine feeling of the pink and green again but it's a lot softer and more playful. Nice ideas, I hope the judges see those. And speaking of, they're gonna be making their way here soon. What are you hoping that they'll see and what are you hoping they'll put their blinkers on for? <laughs> well, we're hoping they will see uh, the details, obviously, mm -hmm. and the cute things that we put in there, like the brush. And we're hoping that they don't look at uh, our little mishaps. <laughs> like? We don't have any. Now, as you guys know, first impressions are everything. And the first impression I had when I walked into the room was I saw the side of your mirror, your main mirror in your master bathroom. Yeah. It's leaning off the wall, it's not attached properly, and I can see all the LEDs. Mm. Was that intentional? That was a little bit unintentional. Yeah. So um, there were mishaps? Yes, there were. Okay. With the mirror, what happened is that because if we have the railing and the hub tiles, 
So when we bought the meter, we forgot that we, they, we, they, we need to do like a backing behind it. So that's why you see those kind of flip flops. But something that we can survive with. So I know the challenge was very hard, and so the grower team have decided to reward you and give you something warm and snuggly to tuck into Lovely. to let this day go. Yes, yeah. please. All right. I'd love to see that. Here you go. Nice. So they've custom Woo. made these for you guys. Oh. Yes, take them out. Let's see. <laughs> the robe is so nice. It makes us feel warm and cuddly inside. It looks absolutely luxurious, just like our bathroom. I like the fact that they are black and they match with the master bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank thank you. you so much. Thanks, Team Grower. Good luck, you two. Thank you. The final bathrooms to be revealed belong to Team Habitat, who were advised by their mentor to exercise a little bit more restraint this time round. So actually, perhaps running out of time to style might have worked in their favour. Team Habitat's master bathroom is a complete departure from their usual style. A clean and sophisticated space with eye-catching Caesar stone slabs as features. Welcome, Danilo. Welcome. The lion's den. Ensuite bathroom. <laughs> Danilo's here. Mm, we're not feeling like... We're not yet sold on our own bathroom. <laughs> Let me put it that way. It's like, it just feels like a lot still needs to be done or embellishments need to just pop out of somewhere. Yes. So we were just, okay, Tony, let's give you a run through and hope you like it. What I love about both of your journeys to this point is that you guys have tried to always tell stories with the different rooms you've created. So what is the story with your master bathroom space? The story for the master bedroom is the lion's den. Yes. So this is part one of the lion's den because yes. we've made it en suite. So you can see like the hints of gold, the lights. You know, we kept it quite simple because it's more grown. This is where the parents would be or the couple. Yes. But they need to be grown because they got to have money. <laughs> you got to have money in here. It's yeah, like, yeah. We try to keep it quite simple clean, simplistic. Classy. It was a double challenge though, so let's go through what you guys had planned for your guest bathroom. Well, that was the zebra crossing. Yes, because we started with the guest bedroom, which is a zebra room. Yes. And then you go into the zebra crossing from that room. It's yes. like black and white, yeah. yeah. What are your personal highlights? And maybe some of your lowlights of these two spaces. <laughs> <laughs> I think highlights, once everything was in. Everything that's beautiful. beautiful. The Caesar Stone shower came out amazing. I mean, it's a monument to Caesar Stone. It's razzling, it's dazzling. The grower tabs are gorgeous. The giver it mirrors. You know, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Like once everything is up, but getting everything up was not as easy as getting my up to up. <laughs> so that was the frustrating part about everything. It was how do you get everything up when you're not allowed to tell? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of your up to, uh, is it done differently today to match the space with all the gold trimmings? Well, I mean, it's only fair that I become a lioness in the lion's den. Okay. So you can be the lion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because it was a tough challenge for both. Both of you, we thought we'd give you a little gift. Oh my, for my nerves! <laughs> there you go. So wow. wow. Custom designed and made just for you two to reflect your personalities. Danilo rewards us with these marvelous gowns <laughs> from, from Grower. Grower. Dressed by Grower. Yes, <laughs> which I mean it was just, already was just a cherry on top. Can I be honest? Yes. There's a can. second surprise for you in your bags. Stop it. Mm -hmm. There's more. Go and reach oh, in there. Do you like Oprah today? Okay. <laughs> you get one, you all. It's for baby and boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little gold trim on the collar. That's amazing. She is Mariah. Indeed. Absolutely. So guys, all's well that ends well. Mm. We're waiting for the judges. Okay. <laughs> all the bathrooms look absolutely amazing. And I'm sure you're struggling to pick your favorite. So share your thoughts with us on social media using the hashtag WinAHome. Remember, you could be the winner of one of those bathrooms and the house attached to it. Basically, your choice of one of three fully decorated cluster homes at the Eye of Africa estate. It's time for a break, but with the judging and announcement of this week's winning design duo still to come, you don't want to go anywhere. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon, designed for life. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. 
Welcome back to Win at Home on Afternoon Express. We're on SABC3. Now, there are many things that give me anxiety, but the one that gives me the most amount of anxiety is buying property. Now, in our property advice series, we're discussing various aspects of residential estates in South Africa. And today, finally in studio, we have Neil Peterson, founder and editor of Real Estate Investor Magazine, who is going to help us all understand the ins and outs of buying property on an estate as that investment. So welcome to our loft. Danilo, thank you very much for the opportunity. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. I don't know if I'm excited or really nervous to have you on this couch because property has always been something that you get different pieces of advice from so many different people. Buy, don't buy, market's good, market's bad. It's a buyer's market, it's a seller's market. Is buying property even an investment today? Absolutely. Hands down. And um, so let me just start and take you a little bit back. Cool. The word invest or investment is used too flippant flippantly out there. And uh, people tend to say, this property that I just bought was mm -hmm. a great investment. They don't really know why it's a good investment. So if we go start looking at what does invest mean? Invest essentially means that you're investing to achieve a profit. A profit. Okay. So this, the second part of it is, of course, endowing yourself with information. In other words, investing in yourself with knowledge. Mm -hmm. And those two factors people don't take into consideration. So then when it comes to investing itself, what's the difference between the investment and kind of those mistakes people make? I mean, uh, is an investment because I take out a bond and then I have a now property that's an asset and I sell that asset, I make money. Is that regarded as an investment or does it have to be uh, immediate returns? It's, it's, it's a little bit of both. I think, first of all, you've got, to, you've got to study the market because if you speak to any sort of uh, state agent, property broker um, or professional, the first thing they say is location. Yeah. Yes, location is important. I think specifically when you're looking at an estate type living, which I don't really call an investment per se, it's more of a capital appreciation type investment, okay. Um, as opposed to one that you're going to rent out. And I mean, there's more than a hundred ways that you can actually yeah. invest in real estate. And those are just two that I've mentioned. Yeah. Um, but people tend to say, well, I bought a property and it's going to grow by 10% this year, 10% the following year, and I made a great mm. return. It's not about that. Oh, okay. uh, it's a combination of both factors, but more importantly, it's about the cash flow. Yes, exactly. And, and that takes a bit mm. of study and it takes a little bit of work. To, to understand that and what all these different mm. terms mean. Mm. So you just need to know a few bit of terms. You need to check your references. It's very important to verify and do your own due diligence. And I think in South Africa, um, a lot of people who are buying property just go and buy on the advice of somebody else. Instead of actually doing their own homework, their own due diligence, mm -hmm. checking out the property, checking out the quality of the property, uh, looking at why the, the owner wants to sell. The surroundings, what's going up, what's going down. The looking at the rental yields. I uh, know you start getting into technical terms. It sounds technical. It's not really that technical. It just yeah. means taking a little bit of time and effort. Yeah. Something that's exciting about this year's season of Winner Home is that we are buying and building on an estate. And I think estate living seems to be trending quite a lot in the property markets. Absolutely. Uh, we spoke last time a little bit about how the property values are slightly more expensive on an estate because of the lifestyle you're buying into. Is it still worth buying on estates? And what should we look into when it comes to renting or perhaps even buying and investing on an estate? Look, so estate living, there's a massive trend in terms of lifestyle, and, uh, and I think it will continue to grow, and it's for one simple reason right here in South Africa, it's security. Okay. And because of security, people are looking for that kind of peace of mind. Mm. Uh, however, it does come at a price. It comes at a premium. Mm. Sometimes there are some distressed assets within that you can get at better prices. However, you've got to say, what is the reason? Why are you buying this property? Why are you renting? And you've yeah. got to, that, it comes back to your purpose. People for, want to for, make money though, Neil. It's obvious. People do want to be able to make money. So can I buy and rent it out and make money on an estate? Absolutely. So um, I know people, for example, who have got uh, properties on eco estates, 45,000 rand a day. They want to keep it to uh, a, a point of not the entire year because yeah. uh, they also want to enjoy the property yeah, themselves. themselves. Mm. So, so there's a combination of that. And uh, so, yes, you, you can. You can get these magnificent returns. It tends to be more in the higher end uh, of the market mm. and a little bit more riskier than your normal cash flow type investment in your sort of bottom end. Good stuff. Thank you so much, Neil. Now, remember that on this season of Winner Home, you stand a chance of winning a beautiful home on the Eye of Africa estate. Your choice of one of the three currently being decorated by our dynamic design duos. All you have to do is log on to private property.co.za and answer a very easy question. It's as simple as that. No need to buy. We'll be right back after the break with more Winner Home excitement. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back. You're with us on Winner Home on Afternoon Express on this Friday afternoon. When designing a beautiful bathroom, we all know it can be a very expensive exercise. Besides over 300,000 Rand in sponsored elements, our design viewers have a cash budget of an additional 300,000 Rand to decorate the entire house. And it's up to them to break that into smaller budgets for each space. For their bathrooms, Team VC came in just under their projected 31,000 Rand cash budget, comfortably leaving a few hundred Rand in change. Team Habitat had budgeted a generous 40,000 Rand for their cash budget, but ended up saving over 3,000 Rand for their next room. Team House and Leisure had set aside 30,000 Rand for their bathrooms, but with the extensive remodeling, ended up with a 19,000 Rand contractor fee and a whopping 57,000 Rand spent. Yowzers! Looks like Seppo and Vanelli have made some very serious miscalculations. Now with some very important spaces still to be decorated, the design duos will have to plan very carefully to ensure that they have enough money in the kitty to fulfill their designs. As with any competition, one design duo will be named the winners of this challenge, but the people that make that decision are our wonderful judges. The third challenge was the toughest yet for our design duos as it was a double challenge. Will it show in the final results? It's time to find out because our judges are here. Besides the regular critique by Donald Numalo and Katlejo Kondlo, our guest judge is Buzwe Mabuza, founder of Design Dreams International. My design style is more extension of personalities, so it changes every single time, all depending on the brief it has. Having started in the design industry at the age of 17, Buzwe has gone on to work with international clients and create some of the country's most stylish residential and business interiors. The judge's arrival is always nerve-breaking. I personally am a bit nervous because like, like I'm not really sure what's going to go down in those two bathrooms. My nerves. I wish they wouldn't. I wish they weren't there. Right <laughs> or they arrived when we're not there. Even in the stage, because it just feels like. <laughs> <laughs> First up, Team VC, who added warmth to their high contrast master bathroom by painting the walls with Plascon's moth mist. I know they're gonna love the master bathroom. Like the master bathroom is designed for every. One. Guys, I don't know what you think, but I'm in love. This is so beautiful. Who's right? Passes the rubber duck. I think it's quite appropriate the way you guys are carrying on right oh, now. Yes. Anyway, I think it's a really beautiful bathroom. I love the plan patterns and the textures, the way in which they've also captured a few touch points and spread them around the bathroom. The lines that they've actually accentuated as well, I think it works pretty, pretty well. What's key for me is that they didn't go with the typical white. They've gone with a beautiful colour and they've taken it all the way to the ceiling, which creates a sense of height. So I guess white is out. No more white. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love this bathroom. It's so open, so sophisticated and mature. Yeah. Right up my alley. Yeah, yeah. Mine too. What a spectacular bathroom. Team VZ has really outdone themselves. I'm loving so many of the details in there. I'm loving the Caesar stone border around the tiles. I'm loving the Caesar stone shelf in the bath. This is so sleek, so sophisticated. It's just beautiful. This bathroom is quite classic. You know, it's got a, an element of minimalism to it. Um, so it's quite clean, it's got longevity to it. I, I love the classic nature of it. I think what they managed to capture is a, an, a, the essence of luxurious living, you know, um, in reference to the patterns that they've used, the textures, the stones, and how the patterns on the stones actually speak well with each other. Also in terms of the accessorizing, I mean the various accents being the chrome, the gold, so the, the essence is almost million dollar style living. I'll be honest, there's not much negative to say about this bathroom. Maybe the towel rail could have been a little bit bigger and more towards the bath side than it was towards the basin. I love the bath, but I can't find the towel rail. I mean, what am I going to use when I get out of here? Having seen the main bathroom, for me the guest bathroom doesn't look like there was much thought that went into it. I think there's a distinct disconnect between the two spaces. I think that the finishes also in the guest bathroom wasn't as detailed as I would like them to be. I thought the mirror was a little bit too flat. It was just not as interesting as the other one was. The only detail that I appreciated was the towel rack. They used um, Caesar stone for that. That for me was an excellent detail, but the rest 
fell flat. So it was a letdown from the, the rest of the house and what they're doing in the rest of the house. Next, the judges make their way to Team House and Leisure's bathroom, which has warm, natural tones, open plan design and a planter box feature. Wow. Wow, guys. I must say, this is rather brave. I'm not sure how practical it is, though. I mean, I can't imagine myself taking a nap and having my husband on the toilet. Look, I think for me, um, the selection in terms of the material um, in silo is great, but the problem is it doesn't work together collectively, you know? And I mean, some of the ideas are great, but execution was really poor. For example, this, the idea behind this mirror is great, but the fact that it's showing that it was installed skew kind of like, you know, loses a bit of points for me on, on, on that front. You have to be very confident with your body to live in this bathroom. I feel like I'm in Tarzan and Jane's bathroom. Mm -hmm. It gives a new meaning to going to the bathroom behind the bush. Hello. <laughs> Team House and Leisure, I walk in and I'm like, what is going on? It looks like a jungle. Jungle fever. I think they try really step out of the box and try to do something different. I think the ideas are great um, in silo. But the minute you start bringing them together, I think they kind of lose their essence and they kind of lose their footing. I am loving that Team House and Leisure is pushing boundaries. However, the element of privacy in any space is of the utmost importance. I think this is a bathroom that a goldfish will feel comfortable living in because it's so exposed. I think the toilet area should be something that's private. It would have been nice had they enclosed that. I just don't see how a couple living in that space could survive. I mean, that's just the recipe for a divorce. What stands out for me with the guest bathroom is overkill. I think they went overboard with the flowers together with the artwork all within the same kind of space. So there was a shout for attention with all these elements. I love indoor plants, but this time around, I feel they went a bit overboard. Um, there was literally three plants in that bathroom. Uh, for me, it's a bit of a letdown. I think the boundaries weren't pushed as much as uh, the other rooms were. It lacks in, um, in detailing and the finishing. The blind is absolutely stunning. I can't fault it. I love the fact that it ties in to the guest bedroom that they did. So a lovely touch. My advice for Team House and Leisure is that you need balance. You need balance in your direction. You need balance with your ideas. And you always need to think comprehensively. Don't look at your ideas in silo. Always think how you connect them in order to tell your story better. The final stop for the judges is Team Habitat's ensuite bathroom, which has a more minimalist approach to their usual bold style. We are worried about everything. I mean, it was so rushed. We didn't even have time really to step back and look at the bathroom. Mm, by the time so, we stepped back, the judges stepped in. Mm, so it was. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected. Dean, all I can say is gorgeous. Yes, I'm so happy for them. They finally listened. They've edited and look at how amazing this place looks. What I love is how they managed to actually establish focal points in this bathroom without it being over the top. And in terms of the stone in the vanity, in the shower, the towel has allowed those two elements to actually come out and actually be accentuated. I mean, this pendant as well, as overpowering as it is, yeah. it, it just has a great balance with everything that's going on. Overall, very beautiful bathroom. The details are beautiful, it's well put together. And I love how they accessorized it just right. Mm -hmm. Nothing's been taken overboard. The right amount of bling. This team is really onto something here. I think they are bold, they are unafraid, and we are loving it. I love how they can deliberately be excessive in their approach, but they execute it very well, you know? They know how to balance things out. I love the fact that it's practical and well-designed at the same time. They have separated the bath from the main bedroom, but in such a nice way, the wall almost goes halfway, so there is an element of privacy in there, so two people can live in there quite comfortably. It's really quite a considered room and very practical. I'm pleasantly surprised Team Habitat has really knocked it out of the park and I'm getting their style. I'm finally getting it. They know how to connect a story with the two different rooms. Although they are different in how they look, but you can see their signature 
in both the rooms. I love that Team Habitat has connected the guest bedroom to the guest bathroom and you can see the seamless flow because of the black and white. It almost looks like the zebra is then brought in to live in this bathroom yet again. The only negative was the chandelier. I didn't quite get it. It cheapened the look. I don't like that the shower is so dark. I think that, you know, from a cleanliness point of view, you do want a light shower, so a lighter tile. My advice for Team Habitat is that as a designer, you're responding to a need. So when your client gives you a brief, you don't always have to have your signature on everything. With a fair amount of constructive criticism, but also so much positive feedback from the judges, any one of the three design duos could clinch this one. We are really nervous. We want to win this challenge. Um, there's a lot of effort and time and sweat that we put into this challenge. I'm freaked out and I'm crossing my fingers that we take this third challenge as well. Because I'm hoping that we take all of them. <laughs> well, that's just me being overly ambitious. Contestants, welcome back. The third challenge is complete. You can breathe a sigh of relief. You thought the challenge was going to be pretty simple, just basins and tiles. Yet it turned out to be one of the most complicated challenges thus far. Who puts win back in winner home, or who is simply washed out? Let's start with you, Team Habitat. The judges loved the way that you brought the theme right the way through the home into your guest bathroom and your master bathroom, really reflecting your personalities. However, they did feel that the zebra pattern that you created might be slightly too busy for certain clientele. So far it's sounding quite good. Absolutely. And, yeah, but you never know. And the last time it sounded so good, we didn't win. So it's just, uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm waiting for that part they say, but! And there was not really a, much of a but, which was surprising. Team VC, congratulations. The judges were very impressed with your use of Caesar stone for your towel ladder. But did your choice of color this time around really complement the space? The judgment is helping us grow to be better designers. We respect that and we see uh, our mistakes as soon as we hear their comments and what they say. Team House and Leisure. The judges were very impressed with your bold move opening up that master bedroom into an ensuite. However, is the lack of privacy in your master bedroom to everybody's taste? Regarding privacy with the planter box, we thought it would be enough to just have plants, but apparently it's not enough and apparently it's a recipe for a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> there can only be one winner, however, and the winning duo walking away with an extra 3,000 Rand added to their budget into challenge four is... Team Habitat. Sure, when Danilo said, we've won, it was... Are like, you putting a Steve Harvey on us? You know, you like, you've won, but just kidding! Because <laughs> it just felt like, are you joking? Come on! It really felt like, no, no. Okay, just tell us who won. <laughs> Get it over with! So it was really surprising. I'm very excited for them. I'm so excited for Team Habitat. Look, Abia did say in the first challenge that they are gonna come for a crown and they did come for it for they real. Snatched it. <laughs> they snatched it and he disappeared with it. I don't even know he disappeared too. Ah, no. No, no. Our time is coming no, when we jealous. will win. No, I'm not jealous. Yeah. Uh, the aim is the bigger price, not uh, 3,000 extra. Well, the competition has certainly taken an interesting turn with Team Habitat finally making good on their promise to take that win. Can Team VC level the playing field or will Team House and Leisure make a comeback in the next challenge? Let us know what you think on social media using the all-important hashtag WinAHome. Next week, the design duos find out which space they'll be transforming next and we have a little surprise in store for them that could be a game changer. Tune in next Friday at 4 p.m. on Afternoon Express to see what goes down. From me, Danilo Aquista, have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.
Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Uh, never feel good production.